Welcome back to Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Southern. This is part two of the first lesson on geometric sequences and in this video I'm just going to be taking you through an example of how to find a term and how to find a sum. So here we have the first four terms of a geometric progression are 2, 6, 18, 54. Find u10 and s10. Okay, so first of all, geometric we know that it's a geometric progression because to get from term to term, you're multiplying by the same number each time. In this case, you can see that to get the next term in the sequence, we are multiplying each of the previous terms by three. Uh, so that is our common ratio, is what we multiply by to get the next term. Uh, the only other thing that we need to identify at this stage is the first term, which is obviously two. So I'm just gonna write that a equals two and r equals 3, and I'll box both those things because I'm going to be using those in my question. Uh, so, first term, common ratio. Okay, right, uh, u10, that is the tenth term, so term, uh, we use the formula un equals a multiplied by r to the power of n minus 1. Um, and just like the similar rule with arithmetic sequences, where it's a plus n minus 1d, I need you to be really, really fluent if I say to you, right, what's the fifth term? You say ar to the power of 4. What's the 18th term? You say ar to the power of 17. So we're finding the 10th term here, which is going to be um, ar to the power of 9. Um, so I will just take the time to write that up. ar to the power of 10 minus 1. So a r to the power of 9. But I know that a is 2. And I know that r is 3. So 2 times 3 to the power of 9. Which is 39,366. which should make sense because we start on 2, we multiply by 3 9 times to get to the 10th term, and that's what this formula is telling us to do. Okay. The other bit, the uh, S10, that is the sum of the first 10 terms, uh, so I'm going to be using the formula that uh, we discussed in the previous video, a times 1 minus r to the n, all over 1 minus r. Now n is 10, that's the number of terms, so the sum to 10 terms would be a, which is 2, multiplied by 1 minus 3, which is r to the power of 10, all over 1 minus 3. And what I always encourage students to do is to work out the value of this bracket first and do that bit separately rather than writing the whole thing into a calculator and potentially making a mistake. Uh, so I'm going to do that bit now. 1 minus 3 to the power of 10. Uh, which is negative 59,048, and that's all going to be over negative 2. Um, and I can see by a rather beautiful bit of cancelling that that's just going to come out as 59,048. So the sum of the first 10 terms of this geometric progression, uh, if you worked out each term and added them all up, the total would be 59,048. That's what you've just worked out using the sum formula. Job done.